All right, I'm putting the pedals back on the bicycle. And there's something you should know about pedals. There are left pedals and right pedals. And you can tell by the threads on the pedal. And I believe that these pedals are 9 sixteenths is the size of the, the thread. That's a very standard old American size. And I can see that this one threads to the left. Nope, this one threads to the left. So this goes on the left-hand side of the bicycle. Uh, it, everything on the left-hand side threads to the left more or less so that as you pedal, you don't unscrew stuff on that side. On the right side, since everything's turning in the correct direction, they just use normal thread. That, this is a pedal that's obviously original to the bike. It says roll fast right on it. It's exactly the same kind. This is a walled replacement pedal, but it's a really old one. Whoever replaced the missing pedal on this side replaced it when the bike was almost new. So these pedals both look at home on the bike. I'm not going to clean these pedals up at all. Um, I've decided to just leave them looking the way they're looking. I'd like to get in there and grease those bearings, but these parts look like they're pressed together. I'll have to research how to do that. But I don't know right now, honestly. So I'm going to put these back on for test riding purposes. And then with the idea of taking them apart and replacing them and greasing the bearings inside of them at a later date. All right. Be careful not to cross thread these. They should go on relatively easily. But I have my uh, pedal wrench with me here to get the last few yeah, uh, turns on there so they're torqued on there sufficiently to hold them on the bike. All right, so that's about all my fingers can do. My uh, pedal wrench has 15 millimeter on one side and 9 sixteenths on the other. Old American bike, newer bike. Basically, that's the way it breaks down. It's strange to be working with something that has left hand threads. Most things don't. I'm interfering with the pedal there. But the kicks to that. Arg. Do a bit more of this by hand. There we go. I'll use my left hand. This is what the world looks like to a left handed person. Arc. All right. I think I need my dog coming. Almost on there. I'll edit this video so you don't have to suffer for all this with me.
Hoo-ha. Good for one night. Okay, this is the final installment of the Roll Fast Bicycle Build. I have been a little bit lazy and a little bit scared of this project, so I neglected it for a while, but it's finally done back on the road. The thing that was holding me up was when I put these wheels on here, the uh, cog came with the wheels. The wheels didn't come with the bicycle. I bought them. They're also vintage, but they're not necessarily roll fast. I think they, in fact, I'm pretty sure they come off of a different brand of bicycle, but they fit. However, this rear cog was not the exact same pitch as the, the chain wheel, and so it wasn't going into the, uh, the uh, links on the chain properly. It was jamming itself in there and causing this horrible clicking noise. So I found another new departure cog, and I removed the old cog and put the new cog on the rear here, which is actually has a couple of more teeth, so it's a, a higher gear, uh, but it goes into the chain nice and smooth now, and it doesn't make a horrible noise. The, uh, the thing that I was scared of was getting that old cog off. It was on there really solid, and I had to uh, tap it with a brass mallet and heat it with a torch and then cool it with ice cubes and use penetrating oil repeatedly until I finally got it to start to turn uh, without damaging it, and then I removed it and put that on there. But I was scared I wasn't going to be able to get that off, so I put this project on the back burner for a while. However, having done that, I bolted everything back together and she runs true and straight and she doesn't make any weird noises and the bike is finished. So, to recapture the roll fast bicycle build, I found the frame, the seat, the fenders, the chain guard, the chain uh, wheel, the bottom bracket was still in here with the crank set, and the forks. I found all that on the side of the road on heavy trash day. What I've added that's brand new is the gooseneck and the handlebars and the grips and the bell and uh, I put in new uh, races and bearings in the steering head I put new cones and bearings in the front hub I put a new bottom bracket in and I put a new new crank on it the old crank was bent somebody had uh, slammed it into a curb or something but I put the old pedals back on uh, I put new bearings and rebuilt the rear coaster brake hub I put a, uh, a new old stock uh, cog on it or rear sprocket and everything else was just cleaning, polishing, straightening and now this sucker is ready for the road. So I hope that you've enjoyed the Roll Fast Bicycle build. I hope that it encourages you to rebuild an old bicycle if you have one around. Uh, remember if you're doing that just be careful, go slowly and uh, don't damage anything that you can't replace that's you know an old vintage piece like this. So it's been fun. Thanks. Bye.